Today is October the 27th. Is it important to be united? Let's find out together as we read the book of Ephesians. In reading through the Bible in a year today, I'd like you to read the book of Ephesians, the whole book. It's not long. It'll take you less than 10 minutes. Um, the book of Ephesians is an interesting book. It's kind of mysterious because the word mystery occurs quite a bit in the book of Ephesians. For example, in chapter 1, verses 9 and 10, God has now revealed to us his mysterious plan, literally his mystery regarding Christ, a plan to fulfill his own good pleasure. And this is his plan. At the right time, he'll bring everything together under the authority of Christ, everything in heaven and on earth. So Paul starts out talking about the mystery, and he says, here's what the mystery is. God will bring everything together under Christ. But he goes on, and he continues talking about uh, the mystery. Now, in chapter 1, he uh, records a prayer for the Ephesian church in chapter 2. He talks about our salvation. But in chapter 2, the latter part, he talks about the reality that the Ephesian church was leaving. There were Jewish believers and there were Gentile believers. Up until the point that they believed in Christ, there was animosity between these two groups. So how are they to come together now? Literally before the Gentiles would have worshipped in the temple of a pagan god, the Jews would have worshipped in their local synagogue. They came together and formed a church. How were they to do that? Paul says in chapter 2, verse 16, together as one body, Christ reconciled both groups, Jews and Gentiles, to God by means of his death on the cross, and our hostility towards each other was put to death. Okay, Paul says, you've got to work together. Then look at what Paul says later in verse 21. We are carefully joined together in him, becoming a holy temple for the Lord. The next verse he goes on to say both Gentile and Jew compose this temple. So we see that Paul is talking about Jews and Gentiles coming together. Look what he says in chapter 3. In chapter 3, he goes back and he picks up the concept of uh, the mystery that, uh, that he has. Three, verse 3, as I briefly wrote earlier, God has revealed his mystery, his mysterious plan to me. And in verse 6, he says, and this is the plan. Both Gentiles and Jews who believe the good news share equally in the riches and inherited by God's children. The whole purpose of the book of Ephesians is to present this mystery, to say that Jews and Gentiles, before enemies, are now to come together. They are to work together. They are to live together. They are to worship together. There should be no distinction in God's church between Jew and Gentile. In chapter 4, he talks about the unity of this new body. At the end of chapter 4, he talks about the importance of living a transformed life. In chapter 5, we live in the light of the Spirit. At the end of chapter 5, in the early part of chapter 6, he has what we've identified before as a paranesis, short sermons, where he talks about the household that they live in. Husbands and wives are to live in a new relationship governed by Christ. Parents and children are to have a new relationship governed by Christ. Slaves and masters are to have a new relationship governed by Christ. 
Paul comes to chapter 6, verse 10, the section known as uh, the armor of God. He calls them to put on the armor of God for one purpose. In verse 18, to pray. Pray in the Spirit at all times. And then in 19, he says, pray also for me. Ask God to give me the right words so I can boldly explain God's mystery that the good news is for Jews and Gentiles alike. This consumed Paul, the idea that our unity is crucial to our growth as a church. Today, we may not be divided as a Jew and Gentile in the local church, but that doesn't matter. Typically, we as human beings find a reason to make divisions among ourselves, where it's divisions according to school districts or divisions according to economic status, divisions by race, divisions by ethnicity. It doesn't matter. We find ways to divide ourselves. Paul tells us God's mystery is that we are all brought together and we are all to follow him, to worship him together in unity. Like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll look at the book of Philippians and learn what it means to be thankful. Thankful.